Now, explaining how to actually work with the 1990 model uh, and content uh, and all of these different perspectives all at the same time, it can become very difficult. Especially if you gotta uh, like convince a boss to do this at the same time as you gotta create compelling, you know, discussions with your your main influencers or with your main co-creators, and so I've derived this this matrix that you see in front of you uh, as a sort of chart of where to start. So let's think about you you presenting this to a boss. Now, the way I would start off that presentation is to have a look at what is the expected business output for the client or for your boss. Now that's the main argument that you want to get them hooked on, and. As you explain this, you move from right to left, going backwards in this, this uh, uh, presentation, all the way from the right, what is the expected business output for, the, for, for my boss or for my client, and what do those people who consume this creative have to do, and then you know I move back. And then I move up one, one row, and then I move from the right to the left again, and then I move up one time, and then I move right to the left again. So. When I explain, when I create stuff for uh, businesses and for clients and when I try to explain it, I always work with the, the business-centric proposal, meaning I, I focus on their, their gain and then I move my way back until the, the, the point in time where I got to explain what the first content piece that I want to create with those ones, what, what that uh, content is. And so that's why I use this template to just move them along al along the way, you know, logically, uh, instead of just saying that. So I want to create a, a, a campaign where we uh, uh, shoot marbles at each other and we're working with a business to business, uh, you know, selling trucks or whatever uh, kind of thing. And you will lose them right away. So what you have to do is you actually have to, when you pitch this and when you sell this, you actually have to... To, to give them that, that first piece of information that they're going to earn from this. And they have to move them back uh, one step at a time to the point in time of where this campaign actually begins. So that's the business-centric view. The consumer-centric view, on the other hand, that starts with the marbles. They're not interested in doing stuff for you. Uh, actually, they are if they're true ones, but you shouldn't, you know, uh, demand that they do something that will, you know, improve your business goals. No, they want to engage with you. They want to create content with you. They want to do stuff with you because they love you. And so if you run from the top and top left to the right kind of way in this, this matrix, uh, you have to focus on, you know, explaining what that content is and, and then looking what, what will motivate your ones to actually join in uh, and how will it then reach the nines? Uh, how would you then use media money in order to, to make this happen more quickly, etc., etc. So, uh, this is just an explanation model that you have to have two different kinds of mindsets if you want to make this work, both internally in your organization and uh, externally together with your influencers and with your, your co-creators. Uh, and so, so that's all that this, this uh, uh, picture is about. It's about you, know, you not missing uh, a step uh, along the way. Uh, and again, please ask questions on foreshore.com in any of the posts, essentially, and I will find you. Cheers.